So one question that I get all the time is what about double opt-in or confirmed opt-in, right? So a lot of, a lot of people, um, you know, they, they, they want to do a two-step um, subscription process where when somebody opts in to actually be added to the list, they have to go back to their inbox, click a link to then confirm, and then they're officially on the list. And there's a lot of email service providers that really want you to do this. Aweber is a big one. They, they practically force you to do it if you're a brand new account for the first like 30 or 60 days. F uh, for me, I personally don't like using confirmed opt-in or double opt-in. We just, as a company, don't do it um, because I don't believe in making my customers jump through a bunch of hoops uh, because of you know the mistakes of others. I, just, I don't think it's necessary. We are very careful in where we do our targeting. We don't spam. You know, we don't do all this stuff. So, we, and we also practice appropriate list, list hygiene. So if people aren't responsive after a while, we kind of move them around, move them to different lists. We'll even take them off of our list. We'll stop mailing them. Uh, we certainly stop mailing people who unsubscribe. So for that reason, we don't, we don't do it. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. And unless you just have to do it, if it's a requirement of your company or a requirement of law in the country you live or, or, you know, something like that, then I guess you can do it. It's not a deal killer by any stretch of the imagination. I know a lot of people with very successful businesses who use double opt-in or confirmed opt-in. Um, I just don't recommend it. Now, if you have to do it, then what do you do about the thank you page? Because you want to tell them on the thank you page that they need to confirm their subscription. Otherwise, if you don't give them that extra bit of instruction, they're probably not going to do it. So that's another real bummer about the confirmed opt-in process or the double opt-in process. Not only are you making your subscribers take an extra, st uh, an extra step, jump through an extra hoop, you're also missing out on some valuable instruction on the thank you page, uh, uh, some, some valuable monetization opportunities on the thank you page because instead of saying, hey, here's the thing you got, and you know, then you make the pivot to, to making them an offer, you're having to just give them instructions on how to get on your dang list. So it's just a waste overall, but if you have to do it, here's how I recommend that you do it. Optimize Press has some good confirmed email thank you pages. Lead Pages does as well, but I'm gonna show you this Optimize Press template just because it's a good general example. But again, Lead Pages, if you use that, they have a, a, a double opt-in and it's the same thing. Heck, you could code this from scratch if you want to. The idea is you wanna have it be a step one, step two, step three, type thing. So I would, I would set it up to where it's step one, check your email. Step two, confirm that you want to be on the list by clicking on the link. Step three, click here for a bonus video or a bonus report. So instead of step one, log into your email, step two, instead of what it says here, it should be step one, check your email. Step two, um, you know, confirm the mail from us to be on your list. So that's where you're giving it. So you're getting the instructions from a three-step process down to a two-step process. And then with the third step, tell them to click on a link that takes them over to an offer page, okay? T t take, tell them, go over to a link, you know, here's your, here's your download page or here's a, here's a bonus that you, can, that you can check out while you wait. And on there, you know, you can make, you can make the pivot and make the sale, okay? Is it as effective as making it directly? No, of course not, right? You're making them jump through an extra hoop. There's some, ex some distractions. They're bouncing around. So it's not going to be as effective. Now, the leads you get are going to be a higher quality, and so the follow-up should be more effective. Um, you're just not going to get as many sales immediately. But if you got to do it, that's how I recommend doing it. Step one, check your email. Step two, confirm by clicking on a, on a link in an email from us. Tell them the subject line so they can find it very easily. And then step three, Click here for a special bonus report or a bonus video in whatever medium in which you're delivering your sales message and then send them off to that page where even if they never get around to confirming, hopefully they will at least see that message from you and, uh, and have an opportunity to get on your list as a buyer, okay? So if you got to do confirmed opt-in, again, I don't recommend it, but if you have to do it, this is how you do it. This is how you construct a thank you page.